Okay, welcome to my event preview in Darwin, Hidden Valley. And uh, yeah, a great event. It's, uh, it's always cold in Melbourne by this time of the year. And uh, I know the whole V8 pit lane loves heading up to Darwin at this time of the year. And uh, you know, again, it's, it's, a, it's a great event. Uh, the, the people of Darwin get right behind us. A lot of people are always going up there for, for holidays and to, to party. And the town's always going off every night and uh, you always feel that as a driver every night, come back to your hotel, all the bars, all the restaurants are, are really packed and uh, that's the same out at the circuit, everyone's just having a really good time. So that gives you a great feeling as a driver. Um, as a circuit, I like it. The surface is very heavily degraded now over the years. It's sort of uh, been there for what, near on 13, 14, 15 years now. And um, yeah, it's certainly at the lower, lower end of the scale in the grip particularly with the incredible track temperatures we see there, uh, that makes tyre life the number one key factor to, to success in Darwin. So it's a brilliant layout. It really is a cool circuit. Uh, I had double pole position there last year, so I had a fantastic car over one lap. Uh, we were just unable to, to match uh, the Triple Eight guys in race trim there. Their tyre life was, was unbelievable. So um, yeah, a little bit frustrating. I had a second there in the first race, but uh, as I said, we could be quick for five laps and we just couldn't touch them over a distance. So that all comes down to keeping the tyres as cool as possible and therefore you keep grip longer. So um, a fun track though, it does have it all. Uh, got a lot of character and uh, yeah, there's some, there's some good fast flowing sections. There's some good 90 degree sections. There's some real art in how you use a couple of the curbs. Uh, particularly there's some really weird parts of the track where you find grip and traction. So uh, as a driver, you've got to explore all these avenues and uh, but trying to get the, the car balanced front to rear is sometimes extremely frustrating. You're pulling your hair out there often because you've just got no grip, uh, but very rewarding when you uh, hit the nail on the head and you, you land a really nice setup. So uh, looking forward to uh, getting back there, hopefully claiming a couple more poles like last year. Uh, up there in my highlights of some of the best qualifying laps I've ever done in Darwin last year. So I uh, just want to repeat it and make sure I I win a race up there now.